Hey Techno Studs! In this lesson, let's start exploring what Linux and Unix-like systems look like. Here's the history of operating systems. And what happened is one of the first operating systems that became very popular was Unix. But you had to pay a lot of money for Unix, so people created their own operating systems that mimicked Unix. They took a lot of the Unix ideas and then created their own versions of it. So we call it a Unix-like systems. And then what happened is these were cost money as well until the uh, early 90s, then there was some a couple free versions that came out. But because that there wasn't available a free version, Linux was created, which is a Unix-like system, but it was free and open. And this became really the popular Unix-like system and still is popular today. The core of Linux really is that kernel. And there's a lot of people that put different front ends on this. And then they call it by different distribution names or distros. We're at this nerd power site. And the reason why I brought us here is because there's this Linux distro timeline. And one of the reasons why I like this timeline is because it's much more simple. Simple. There are a ton of distros out there. And this one just shows us some of the basic distros here. So we see branched off from Linux, we've got Debian and from Debian, a Ubuntu branches off right here, and we've got Edubuntu. So those are some ones that I've worked with in the past. Same thing with, we've got Slackware, which SUSE branches off of there. So that's another one that I've worked with. Uh, we also have Red Hat down here, and it branches off and creates Fedora. So we've got all of these different branches that were created. And what these branches mean is when we look at Fedora right here that's branched off from Red Hat, that means a lot of the same code was reused from Red Hat to create Fedora. So there's a lot of similarities in how those two operate. I brought us to this YouTube video and it's showing us what's happening over time. It's going month by month. This is 2019, now it's 2020. And it's showing you what the different distros are. Uh, and these are the dist different distros here and what the popularity is. So we can see that Ubuntu has been very popular in the past and uh, more recently it's starting to lose some popularity where Arch Linux has gained popularity. We've also got, um, our one consideration with this is you know Ubuntu, uh, Debian, Mint are all part of the same branch. And so it, it could be a little misleading from that perspective, but this gives us a good visual of how things have changed over time. Not only are there different distros out there, but even within a distro, for instance, let's say Fedora, if we take a look at Fedora, there is actually maybe a server version, there's a workstation version, and there's other versions as well. So here we are at Fedora project site, and as we scroll down, we can see these different versions. So here's the workstation, the server, the IoT, the cloud, the core OS. So we see these different versions. So if we wanted to set up a server, we would use this version of Fedora. If we wanted to set up some sort of IoT devices, we could use this version of Fedora. Here's the workstation version of Fedora, and this is really, I haven't touched this hardly at all. So this is a pretty fresh install. And in the top right here, we see our power button. If we wanted to shut down this machine, speakers, we've got their network connection. I can click on this to bring up some uh, uh, applications down here that we can see. We've got uh, Firefox here, so if I wanted to use that, calendar, files. We've got um, hard disk, if we want to install hard disk on there. I can click on here, I can see some more apps. So let's go ahead and open up the calculator. So I'm going to just type in calculator and open up the calculator so we can see what the calculator looks like. And there's the calculator. I can also click and see down here that these are the, the apps that are pinned to the taskbar down here, and then the calculator is not. It's just a program that's open, so it's divided by this little divider. But if I wanted to pin it, I can pin it to the dash, and then it shifts it over with all the rest of them. Or I can uh, go back and I can unpin this, and then it goes back as just being an open application. So this is Fedora and how Fedora is set up, and kind of the visual of what Fedora looks like and the programs that are in here. And so, yeah, so that's Fedora. This is an example of Ubuntu. So we can see that the taskbar here on the left side is 
kind of permanently there or semi-permanently there, but we see the same thing. Here are the quick launch apps that we have on here. There's a little line right here and then anything that's pinned there. So in here, we could also open up the calculator as well. So let's go ahead and open up the calculator and there's what the calculator looks like. So very similar. So a lot of the programs that are created for these are just, that are essentially attached on top of the operating system and will be just part of the operating system. So they use a lot of the same programs, um, although the core of it is just a little different and the look and the feel of it's different. And then uh, once again, I could right click on this and pin to dash if I wanted to do that, I have this uh, show apps button down here so I can click on that to see all the apps that are on here and I got a lot of the sim similar options like usually on some sort of system like this you on some sort of Linux system you have a terminal because we end up doing a lot within the terminal. So there you go. Um, oh, and it's showing us also a couple desktops so we could actually select this one to make a clear desktop or we could uh, this is the desktop I have the uh, calculator on. So that's the layout of Ubuntu.